Jeremy, welcome to Prenton Park. How's your first day been so far? It's been very busy. It's an exciting time. There's a lot of changes we need to make at this football club. We have to become sustainable now. We've uh, been relying on Peter Johnson for far too long. I've come in to see if we can uh, start making us more sustainable. And that process has started today. And key to that is our supporters. I already put a message out this morning that I want the supporters to read and understand and see that we want to listen to them. We want to hear them. We want to see what they need to do to enjoy their football more and be more proud of this club. And that's our key aim. You sent out the open letter this morning. How important is it to, to re-engage with fans and to get them back on side? We got all the fans here at this football club that come, that cheer us on, that are great fans. They may have some, some moans themselves. We want to hear about that and make it better for those fans that come. And we got a lot of fans that maybe don't come anymore, that are sitting at home on a Saturday afternoon. We want to invite them back. We want them to, to come and see us. So we need to give them a reason to do that. And that's what we're aiming to do in the next few weeks. You mentioned plans in your open letter. Can you give us a bit more information on those? Well, we're going to have a season ticket launch this week. Um, before that, we're going to launch a, uh, a way for supporters to talk to me. Um, I want to hear what they say. So we're going to have a, a situation where they can actually make contact with me. We can see what they want. We can find out what the fans are thinking. We can ask them for their ideas. We can ask them for their suggestions. We may not be able to act on all of them, but I want to know what they're thinking. I want them to be able to tell us how they think Tramia can become a club they're proud of, and then we can start taking some actions. We have some, some thoughts ourselves. The season ticket launch is going to happen on Thursday. That's very exciting. We've got some, some really good things lined up around that. And of course, we've got the game on Saturday against Shrewsbury. Very crucial. Had a great result last week beating Colchester. Need to follow that up with a back-to-back -back win. If we can beat Shrewsbury, things look a whole lot better at the bottom of the table. So we need supporters to come and help. We want supporters in the ground early. We want the supporters singing. We want them getting behind the team. And we want them to help us get those three points. Today's your first day, but it, it, it won't be the first day that you've been looking at the club from, from a distance. How long have you been, been involved? I, I've been coming to Tranmere as a, as a football journalist in my previous role for, for a long time, back to John Aldridge days and, and before that. So I'm, I've known what a great club this is, and I've known where we can get this club back to. Uh, I've also been looking at the club with uh, prospective buyer, so I have a great insight into the club. I know where the strengths of this club are, and I know where the weaknesses are, and I know the changes that need to be made. And that's what we're working on. Now that's not going to happen overnight, it's going to take time, but we're putting, putting in practice today processes that are going to start making some changes to make this club a better football club that fans can be proud of. Do you have a long-term vision for what you want the club to be? I want this club to be a family-orientated football club that the fans can be very proud of, that they want to come down on a Saturday, they want to stand on the, on, on the cop and cheer on their heroes. I want us to be a good old-fashioned family football club that everyone enjoys, everyone feels part of and everyone is part of. And it's the first step for supporters to, to come on Saturday and, and get behind the lads. Come Saturday, get behind the lads. Come and buy your season tickets. Show that you're supporting what we're trying to do. Let us know that you're happy with what we're doing. Let us know that you think we're going the right way. It's a new direction and it's one that we're, we're going to follow through. We're going to make sure that we're following through on the promises we're going to make because we want to make this club a great club again. And just finally, uh, you mentioned before that you're, you're a, at a journalist background. Can you give us a bit more information about I was a journalist for near 20 years on this patch, which means I've got some great contacts. I've spoken to every, every manager that Liverpool and Everton, the United and City, that Black, Blackburn and Blackpool and Wigan have had for a, a long period of time. So I've also spoken to the chief execs, the executives at football clubs, the directors. So I've got a very good knowledge of how football works. Um, that's going to be very crucial for us going forward in, in making sure we get this club back where it needs to be, back on its feet. And we also, um, on the side of that, been running a media business. So I know how business works. I'm just close to finishing my business management degree. I've been putting into practice everything that I've been learning. So I have a, a good rounded set of knowledge, set of skills that's going to help this football club.